advanced figure skating fans are well acquainted with the Skating Lesson channel. This is the blog of American Dave Liz, who is accused of excessive bias towards Russian athletes. His opinion often turns out to be a reason for hatred on the part of fans. But if we do not take into account the American citizenship of the blogger, is he really purposefully drowning against our figure skaters? He explained a lot in an interview for Sports.ru. Liz first got acquainted with figure skating 30 years ago, after seeing performances by Christy Yamaguchi, Viktor Petrenko and Paul Wiley. However, the American cannot be called a specialist from the couch, he has been actively training on ice for six years. Of course, it is impossible to reach triple and quadruple jumps in such a short time, and he is already too old for such tricks. But the desire to develop in your favorite sport is great. Not all of you are trying to do this. Dave is more closely connected with our figure skating than many people could have guessed. Over the years, Liz took lessons from Soviet specialists, Galina Zmovskaya, Viktor Petrenko, Igor Lukanin. Non-weekly communication helps him to find out the news behind the scenes, a third of which he publishes in social networks. Often his insights come true, which causes a certain confidence on the part of the fans. Since Liz is not directly connected with big sports, this gives him the opportunity to openly talk about many problems in figure skating. For example, about bias judging. Dave is sure that there is a connection between the invitation of Alexander Zhulin to work with Tarasova Morozov and Davis Promotion Smolkin in the international arena. On the one hand, these words look very strange. However, if you look closely at the protocols of the main starts, you can see how the judges are divided into different groups, connected geographically and politically. At the same time, the American respects the Russian figure skating school. Elena Beriznaya Anton Sikharilids, Ekaterina Gordiva Sergei Grinkov is an Olympic champion who is admired by many. And Liz is no exception. He also finds good words for the current athletes, Elizabeta Tiktamashiva, Mikhail Kolyata, Evgenia Tarasova Vladimir Morozov and many other Russians. Quite unusual for a Russian hater, isn't it? It's a pleasure to watch Kamila Valiva ride. At the same time, I am fascinated by the personalities of Sherbakova and Trusova. This does not mean that I enjoy writing them. But I am fascinated by their character, Liz explained his position. He soberly notes the obvious advantages of top Russian athletes, but at the same time, does not forget about the disadvantages, unlike our experts. Liz also subjects athletes from the USA to similar criticism. The discussion of Boliva's doping history deserves special attention. In his opinion, the responsibility for trimetazidine found in the sample of the Russian woman should be borne by the doctor of Crystal Philip Shvetsky. We must not forget that Shvetsky has already been involved in a similar scandal. In 2007, six Russian rowers were disqualified for violating anti-doping rules. At that time, Philip held the position of a doctor of the Russian rowing team, subsequently took the blame and confessed to administering legal drugs to athletes in an illegal way, intravenously. Also, other medical professionals don't usually show up with the skaters in Kiss and Cry. Naturally, this raises suspicions. If you take off the rose-colored glasses, these facts should make anyone think, regardless of the passport. Moreover, no one from the Figure Skating Federation or Tutbirds' headquarters even tries to answer the questions that worry many. Lisa can be treated in different ways. To agree with his opinion or not is everyone's business. However, Dave has reasonable thoughts that are worth pondering and discussing and not hating blindly.